in businesses, there are those hard times and then good times. Yeah, there are some times where your business will be very, very hard, very, very stressing. That is because the results are not good. And at some point, there are also those times where your business will be booming and you will be getting lots of money from your business. The same applied to poultry. There are also some things which also hinders this poultry thing. In poultry farming, there are two major challenges which affect poultry very, very much, guys. And these two challenges have forced very many farmers to get out of the business. Yeah, these two challenges. One is the poultry feeds. At some point, the prices of the poultry feeds may shoot up very, very high. And that has forced very many farmers to go out of the business because the price of the feeds is very high and then the profits that these farmers will be getting will be very, very low and sometimes nothing at all. So the poultry feeds has been challenging very many poultry farmers all over the world. Number two is the poultry diseases. You heard me right. Number two is the poultry diseases, which we are going to be talking about in today's video. How can we prevent the spread of diseases on our poultry farms? As you all know, poultry diseases is something which is very terrible when it comes to poultry birds. You may have a thousand birds, but if a disease breaks out on your poultry farm, you may lose all of your birds in less than a week. The disease in poultry is terrible. So that's what we are going to be talking about in today's video. How can we prevent the spread of diseases on our poultry farm, guys? Before moving on with the issue of the feeds, which is also a challenge, I think that one needs another video. There are certain things that we should also do in order to prevent these challenges from actually affecting our farms or from letting us go out of the business just because of these challenges. We should have a solution to these problems with the issues of the feed which is also a challenge like for me over here i have planted some crops i think you guys can see in the background over there it is a little bit okay let me go out and then show you guys i've planted some crops to actually supplement my birds with the feeds that i'll be giving to them on our poultry farm over here we have at least a quarter of an acre but our birds cannot free range in all of this a quarter of an acre. They actually free range on less than half of it. So like I was saying guys, you can take a look that we have planted some crops over here for our birds to feed on. Yeah, you can see that over here we do have some sorghum, which is a very good source of carbohydrates guys. So, and then some sunflower over there ah uh, so this one i think it needs another video where i'll be showing you guys how we can cut cost of poultry feeds on our poultry farms guys so guys like i was saying how can we prevent the spread of diseases on our poultry farms number one guys vaccinate your birds make sure that you vaccinate your birds against all the vaccination schedule which is given to you by the supplier where you got your day old chicks as we all know there are very many poultry diseases which are all vaccinatable guys they're all vaccinatable where if you vaccinate them you will never incur that disease on your poultry farm because these birds will be having that immunity to fight this certain disease so guys make sure that you vaccinate your birds so that if a disease comes in your birds will be resistant to this kind of disease so number one guys which is very important vaccinate your poultry birds the second thing is the quality of the birds that you bring to your poultry farm. So guys, when it comes to the quality of the birds that we bring into our poultry farms, we should go for the birds that are of good quality. Yeah, the birds should be of good quality and that way they will also be very, very good to our poultry farms. For instance, when you get birds whereby the breeder birds of that person was very poor, the quality was very poor, it is very sure that the chicks that you will be bringing into your pot farm, the quality also will be very poor. So guys, the quality matters a lot. That way, it will also 
affect the growth and then the performance of our birds at our poultry farms too. So make sure that you get the birds that are of good quality on your poultry farm. That's number two. Another thing is that by all means, guys, try as much as you can to minimize the contact of human beings with your birds. More especially when you are a poultry farmer who is doing broilers and then layers. These birds are very weak when it comes to diseases. Very weak. And if there is frequent contact of human beings with your birds, that means that there are higher chances of your birds getting ill. Because in poultry farming, poultry diseases are carried 80% by the human beings. So by you minimizing the contact of the human beings with your birds, you will be actually lowering the chances of your birds getting ill. So try as much as possible to minimize the contact of human beings with your birds. Number four is that make sure that you have a poultry fence on your poultry farm. Yeah, a poultry fence is very, very important, guys, when you are doing poultry. You must have a poultry fence on your poultry farm. You can take a look at mine over there, outside. Very fine. So guys, you must have a poultry fence. That will help you in very many things. First, people from outside coming into your poultry farm will not be there because you have a bridge. You have something which can prevent them from coming into your poultry farm. So you must have a fence on your poultry farm. A fence helps in very many ways, guys. Even the thieves that will come to attack your birds won't be there because there is a fence that is actually putting some fear in them when it comes to coming into your poultry farm to steal from your birds. Number five is proper housing. Yeah, you know, the way you construct your poultry house also shows how your birds are going to be. Yeah, it also shows how your poultry birds are going to be. For instance, let me say that you construct a poultry house in a bad way, that means that your birds will also not stay very comfortable in that particular house. That means that you are inbreeding diseases into your poultry farm. So when you are constructing your poultry house, make sure that you construct it in a good manner, which is supposed to be constructed for the poultry birds. Yeah. I've made a video where I showed you guys how to construct a good poultry house. Not very cheap, but a good one. Yeah. When I talk about a good one, I don't mean about the fancy things, all those stuff. I mean a poultry house which is suitable for keeping birds. So I also showed you the mistakes that I've made. That way you don't repeat the same mistakes while building your poultry house too. So you can go in one of my videos and then look for that video where I talked about building a cheap poultry house. That way it will help you so much when it comes to building your poultry farm as well. Before I continue, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, do me a favor guys, subscribe to the channel. And if you find the content that I'm giving to you is beneficial to you, there is that like button guys. That like button alone makes me feel very, very happy. Click on it. And don't forget to turn on your bell notification. That way you will be notified immediately I drop any kind of video on the channel. Well, on this channel we talk about poultry farming in general. Anything connected with poultry, you will find it on this channel. So if you don't want to miss it, just stick on the channel. Thanks for doing that. And then the last thing is that make sure that you give multivitamins to your birds, guys. Yeah, this helps so much to actually boost your birds' immunity. When you give these drugs to your birds, it will help so much to prevent very many things from attacking your birds. So guys, with that information, I know very well that if you are to follow it very well when you start your poultry farm, you will not be affected very much with the poultry diseases. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.